Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And this time out, we're gonna do a little more drum recording and we are gonna record and test and listen to three different microphones from Roswell Pro Audio. We're gonna take a listen to the K87. We're also gonna take a listen to the K, the Mini K47. And then we're gonna to listen to the Mini K67. So we're gonna to listen to the Mini 87, the 47, and the 67. One microphone on this drum kit with no processing. We're gonna hear what the differences are. And then in future videos, we're actually gonna mic up the entire kit with a whole fleet of Roswell microphones. But before we get started, if you like what you see in the video, please hit subscribe. And by the way, YouTube Analytics tells good old Uncle Dave that 70% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel, which is nuts. So if you're watching the channel and you're not subscribed yet, please look beneath the video, see that you're subscribed and just take a second and click that subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. You'll never, You'll never understand how much it really helps me and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if this is your first time here, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I wanna give you a free mixing course. It's worth a hundred bucks. It's my gift to you just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you something else for free. So here we are behind the drum kit. We're gonna to listen to three Roswell microphones, as I said. Now, full disclosure, Roswell Pro Audio and Matt, the owner of Roswell Pro Audio Microphones, did send me these microphones so I could bring this review to you, but they're on loan. I don't get to keep them. They have to be sent back. He doesn't get a chance to see the videos. He doesn't know when they're going live. He doesn't tell me what to say, but Roswell uh, Microphones for the money. We've already done an acoustic guitar video. You can go check the archives really sound fantastic for the price of this mini series, whether you get the 87, the 47, or the 67X, they all sound great. Um, and for the money, you can't beat them. But full disclosure, they did send them to me. I did not pay for them, but they are going back there on loan. But I'll leave the link in the description box so you can check out Roswell Pro Audio. So thank you so much, Matt, and the team at Roswell for sending these to me for review. I really like them, they're really, really cool. So what do we have set up here? Right on the stand, um, we have one microphone. These are large diaphragm condenser microphones, all made in, uh, all made and tested in, this, in the United States. Um, really high quality, really robust. They feel like a tank. You could kill somebody with one of these things. They're great, but they're nice and small. They're about two thirds the size of a full uh, large diaphragm condenser. Um, and they're really, really cool. So what we have here is right now, first up we have the K87, the mini K87. The way I have this set up is I have the microphone about four feet away from the drum kit, about four and a half feet in the air, pointed directly down the center of the, of the kit. This is kind of the sweet spot I found on this particular kit. The kit we're using today is a, is a Gretsch Catalina Maple kit. Not a really high-end kit, less than a thousand bucks. We have a 14 by uh, six inch snare, uh, 12 by 13 rack tom, 16 by 16 floor tom, 22 inch uh, kick drum. We have some Sabian AAX symbols here. The links for all this stuff will be in the description box below if you want to check out the links at Sweetwater, which are my affiliate links, and I really do appreciate that. That microphone is going single right into the PreSonus Studio Live, which is right over here to my left. Um, no EQ, no compression, no nothing, straight out of the microphone, straight into the Studio Live. That's how we're recording this. And then once we record all three of these microphones, we'll bring them back into Studio One. We'll throw a little EQ and compression on it and see how we can capture this entire kit with just one microphone. So the music that I'm gonna be playing to today is a track, a backing track from a, 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 a band from uh, my home state of Connecticut, good friends of mine called Laney and the Wildfire. We featured their music a lot over at the Mixing Music Analog YouTube channel. You can check the link in the description box below. Uh, the name of this song is Dime. Um, and thank you so much for allowing me to, uh, to use your track, guys, as part of this demonstration. They're letting me strip away the drums and uh, Uncle Dave play the drums to their track. So I wanna say thank you to the band for allowing me to do that and especially Thank you to Rob, the drummer of Laney and the Wildfire, to let me butcher his performance. So make sure you check all the links in the description box below and go visit Laney and the Wildfire and show them some love. And you can go listen to Dime and their other songs and hear how a drummer is supposed to play this music. Because Uncle Dave is going to do his best, but I'm not going to be able to do as good of a job as Rob from Laney and the Wildfire. So anyway, so we're going to play back this song from top to bottom with each one of the microphones. You'll see on the screen an image of the microphone that we're listening to during the performance 
of the song, I will take the backing track kind of in and out in video editing so you could just hear the drums on their own and then it'll blend back in with the music so you can hear it in the context and we'll, we'll kind of do that kind of thing if that makes sense. And then again, we're gonna bring it back into Studio One after the fact and we're gonna look and listen to it, put some EQ and compression and all that on it. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, now we're back here in Studio One, and I just want to, we'll compare the three microphones now, after you saw that uh, that wonderful playing by Uncle Dave. So what we have here, let me just uh, close the mixer here for a minute. Okay, so we have at the top here the, the backing track for the music dime, and then in blue, we have the three microphones, the K87, the K47, and the K67X. And so... 
Right now there's, I put some EQ and compression on each, but I shut the plugins off so you could just hear them kind of dry. So here is the 87, and then I'll kind of just solo up the three without the music so you could hear the difference just as it was recorded with no EQ, no compression. So just keep your eye on the, on the bottom track here. We're gonna start with the 87, and then we'll go to the 47, and then the 67. So the 47 to me is a little bit more brighter, a little bit more snappy, has a little bit more presence to it again, you know, which may be fitting for this particular example because we're only using one microphone on the whole kit. So now what if we were to add a little bit of a uh, little bit of EQ and compression here? So here's the 87. So if I boost up a little bit of the top of the bottom end here around 65, about three dB, pull a little bit of 500 out and then add a little bit of a shelf here at about 3K um, or about a 4K, about two dB. And if we add a little bit of 1176 compressor to that, 87, just to see what it would sound like. So it gives a little more sustain to the snare. Let's go over to the 47 and let's try the same thing. Let's add a little EQ. EQ is pretty much the same curve. It's a little different in 62 hertz, 4 dB, pulled a little bit out at 460 and added a little bit of a shelf here at 4.5K. Let's add that compressor in and let's see what that does to the 47. Interesting, let's try the 67X and see what that sounds like with EQ and compression. So you can dress it a up a little with EQ and compression. Now what we should do is play it in the track, right? Let's play it in the track. So let me solo safe the, the backing track itself, and then we can just cycle between the three microphones. I will start with them with, the, with no EQ, no compression, just so you can hear again how they kind of sit in the mix. Um, and then we'll just kind of bounce back and forth. We're gonna go 87, 47, 67, X. Let me just get to the beginning of the track here just so we have, here we go. So we're gonna start with the 80, whoops, 87, here we go. Now, what did I do there? Sorry about that. Now we're gonna do 80, 87, here we go. <laughs>
they sound completely different from each other, right? I tend to like, I think the 47 a little bit better in this example. I'm going to turn these up just a little bit. Um, now let's bring in the EQ and the compression. Okay, so we're on the 87 here. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's turn on the EQ and the compressor. And again, it's not going to be perfect. I'm not really going to sit here and mix it. I want to keep this video too long, but just so you can kind of hear the differences. So here's the EQ and compression settings for these three microphones. They're pretty much the same or pretty close. Here we go, we'll start with the 87. Now I tend to like the 87 when you add a little bit of EQ and compression to it a little bit better. So that's just a quick example of what you can just do with one microphone. And again, the whole point of this video here is just to show you the differences. Again, I'll shut off the EQ and the compression just to show you the differences between these three microphones. And again, the next video we're going to do, we're going to mic up the entire drum kit with all Roswell mics. So we're going to be using, I think I have a pair of the 47s, I have a pair of 67Xs, so maybe we'll use those in some overheads and some rooms. We have the, Ro the Roswell Audio kick drum mics, the snare, the tom mics. We're going to do a whole Roswell Audio thing. But just to show you what one mic does, again, this is just the mic by itself. Here's the 87. So we got three really different sounds there, but they're all great and they're all usable. And for one mic, this will, you know, you EQ and compress this, this will sit in the track really nice. So there's a looks in and a look at the Roswell K87, K47, K67X single mono mic, miking up the drum kit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go check out Roswell Pro Audio below. For the money, you can't beat their microphones. They sound way more expensive than they really are. I mean, these all these microphones, I believe, as I sit here today, were all under 500 bucks, um, which is fantastic. Um, and so we also did this on acoustic guitar. You can go check the archive for that video where we did this, where we did these three microphones on acoustic. So again, they're very, very versatile, very, very usable. And make sure that you like, share, and subscribe and no, hit the notification bell because we're going to be doing, like I said, a full mic'd up drum set with all different Roswell microphones so we could hear everything, not just a single microphone. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. And again, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Get that free mixing course. It's right on the homepage and you can't miss it. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you take that course and you want to buy one of my full featured, full on training courses. I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube 25. Put that in at checkout. It will take 25% off any training course on my website. So until the next video where we listen to some more of the Roswell microphones, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thank you so very much for watching me today, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video.